Unbelievable. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Hmm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god, it's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. These two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? But our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's computer hacker 101 stuff. 
And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. It's the official guild of the galaxy's bounty hunters, known for relentlessly stalking their targets in pursuit of a payday. To a tracker, any person with an outstanding record is a coin purse, ready to be cut open and emptied of value. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding said person's record, there are few groups more ruthless. Though, it's surprising that they've intervened here, where there's no obvious money to be made. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them that clearly aren't, but that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent, well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. What's up? You want to talk to me? Had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. These trackers have all... Try not to be too... Watch yourself. I think there's a clip currently. Very little. But once we're open, should that day ever come, we hope to have all manner of training and personal development courses available for our residents. Most of our staff are formally in co I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. You looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. You would be correct, Mr. D'Angelo. Be careful with these trackers. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, 
Just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there. Harness that type of power. Should we keep exploring through here? Or no? UC's survival training taught me that caves are actually quite a good way to avoid cosmic radiation or inhospitable weather.
You. Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios, put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. There's no need for unnecessary bloodshed. That's so. I... I guess that's a good point. What? That's... That's not what this is. We're tough. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? Piss off. Need to figure out where the hell we're going next. You got what you wanted. The retreat's safe. From us, at least. There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just... One last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. But you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person. Hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. 
Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. I'm, uh, pretty sure you weren't supposed to take that. Approaching ship, you've entered Freestar Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. And that's... modern city with walls. Hmm. Quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? Trade authority look. I'm sure something will catch your eye.
Tower's closed. Come back some other time. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one, you're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two, you decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. You can go on up. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you, I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project I've been trying to foster for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Tracker's Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind... I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? There were a streak of thefts and accidents leading up to Mr. Kilman's kidnapping. We'd presume they were just bad luck or local fauna. Excel's not exactly the most hospitable of worlds, but Nevin made it sound as if those bounty hunters might have been responsible for it all. And I was hoping you could confirm if that was the case or not. Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Two trackers and you just talked them down? That's quite the feat. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? I'm sure it was. I've dealt with trackers. They tend to be... a focused sort. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work. But I'll make sure it's addressed. Should be the missing piece that ensures the retreat is around for many years to come. Let's hope so. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. 
throwing him in jail and forgetting about him? The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov and left them to their own devices. Well, those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony. And now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Next, we tried making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Keep everything on the level and we'll get along grand. Yes? Welcome. Do you have business with the Trade Authority? Huh. Down to business, then.
you ever find an old room? So many books to read and so little time. The Count of Monte Cristo! Such delicious revenge set against the era of Napoleon. Yes, yes, yes! This will be prized in my collection. Oh, my goodness! Is that Dracula? The original story. I simply must have this. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, Moby Dick. I had two copies. I foolishly sold both. I'm happy to have it returned to my collection. Thank you. Oh, my. Oh, my H.G. Wells. Some of his short stories. He's one of my all-time favorite historical figures. What I would give to be able to talk to him. But reading his works is satisfying all the same. <laughs> thank you, thank you. W.E.B. Du Bois, the civil rights activist? He wrote a science fiction novel. I simply must have this. This is real, right? Thank you. War of the Worlds. Need I say more? Here, take my money. I almost want to close up the shop. Oh, I'm sorry. There's nothing you have I don't have or am interested in. Sorry. Happily. the best realtor it's an unfurnished it's a very are you interested excellent most excellent i wish you good for <laughs> 